Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. I have an Asus laptop here. I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 10 fresh onto this computer. Um, now, I have made my own install media um, from Microsoft. If you want to learn how to do this for free, check out the description below. There will be a link to a Microsoft website uh, where you can download this install media for free. Uh, that way you know that it's the current version, it's straight from Microsoft, um, and obviously it's free. Um, if you choose or if you've already purchased your own install media, please make sure that it is install media and not recovery media. A lot of sellers like on eBay and Amazon, uh, they'll sell recovery media as, as install media and you cannot install Windows Fresh with recovery media. Uh, so after getting that out there, I'm going to insert my USB or my flash drive into my USB. Um, if you have any questions or comments through this process, check out the FAQs below in the description. They should help you out, save you some time. If you don't see your question there, feel free to leave me a message. I do try to get back to you a few times a day at least. Um, but I will stay here with you through the entire install process um, so you see it from beginning to end. To start with, I'm going to hit power. And on most Asus laptops, you start tapping escape right away. So power, escape right away. Again, sometimes Asus, like other computers, they'll switch it up, what key you use, uh, but it's generally a escape. Now, right here, it'll give you your boot menu or your boot options. Depending on what year computer you have and what model, this could look a little different for you, but it, all the information should still be there regardless of, of the presentation. So I'm going to arrow down and choose SanDisk. This is where you want to choose what device to boot off of, your hard drive, uh, flash drive, whatever. So make sure that no other external devices are plugged in and then I'm, I'm going to choose SanDisk and I'm going to hit enter. So this may take a few minutes to boot up. Um, I'll, again, I'll stay with you here through the whole process. Once Windows has installed, um, it, it may prompt you to restart or the install process may start, um, take the USB out because you don't want your computer restarting and then starting the whole process over again because it's booting off of that SanDisk. Um, so just that, as a little word of caution going forward. So this will be the first screen, the first option that pops up for you. Let me zoom in here from now on so you can see the screen a little better. So there's your first option, the language to install, time and currency format, and keyboard layout. So generally speaking, you don't have to change any of that. Hit next, and then install now. So at this process, it asks you for a product key. I generally skip this part. Um, you, you can enter your product key later on, or if it's already installed onto your motherboard, it, it should pull it automatically later. But either way, I, I usually like just skipping this part. Um, so I don't have a product key, click on that. And then if you are using a product key, you want to make sure that it matches what version you're installing. Uh, for example, if your product key is Windows 10 Pro, don't try to install Windows 10 Home and, and also vice versa. Don't try to install Windows 10 Pro if, if, if you have a home product key. Um, but I'm going to select Windows 10 Home because that's what I'm using. 64-bit, enter. And then you accept the TNCs. Check the box, next, and then we're doing the second option, custom install windows only advanced. That's the option we're choosing. Now you may see one or two partitions, you may see five or six. The idea here is to delete all the partitions until you're left with unallocated space. So I'm going to click on them one at a time, it doesn't really matter which, hit delete and then confirm. Asus Touchpads tend to jump around when you're installing the operating system. It's kind of annoying. Um, so another partition, delete, confirm, and again, you're left with unallocated space. So whether you have to delete several or, or a lot, um, un unallocated space, and then you hit next. Now it starts downloading. This should take a while. Make sure your computer's plugged in. Um, make sure that your computer won't shut off and lose power during this. Then you'll have to start all over again. So again, at this part, I'm going to choose to take out my USB right now because the computer is restarting um, and I don't want it to start back up again and accidentally try to boot off the flash drive again. Hi 
there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive... Okay, my mute button wasn't working for some reason. Uh, so, that's Cortana. She'll, she'll walk you through this process. Right over here, you select yes for region. Uh, it's asking about your keyboard layout. Select yes. I don't have any reason for another layout, so I'm going to hit skip. Now this connecting you to a Wi-Fi network part, this you'll need to decide for yourself. Uh, most often what will happen here is if you uh, select the Wi-Fi network and you sign in, it will then prompt you very shortly to log into your uh, Microsoft account. Uh, if you have a Microsoft account or you want to make a Microsoft account and, and you want this computer connected to that, then by all means connect to a Wi-Fi and, and proceed forward. Um, I don't like having to make accounts that I don't want to make. Um, so often if you select a Wi-Fi account, it, it won't let you skip that next part. You, you'll have to enter a Microsoft account or you'll have to create one. You won't have an option. So to get around that, um, I'm, I'm going to select I don't have internet to skip this spot, uh, continue setup without Wi-Fi, and then it won't prompt me to do that. Um, it asks you to confirm, and I'm going to hit continue with limited setup because I don't want to, I don't want to connect to Wi-Fi. I don't want to be prompted for a Microsoft account. Uh, who's going to use this PC? I'll call it ASUS for now because we're just using this for the video. If you want a password, enter it in here. If you don't want a password, hit next. And then again, um, I, I would rather not have, have my activity history on, so I'm going to select no. If you don't care one way or, or another and you want to hit yes, go for it. Um, I, I would rather decline this as well. I pretty much don't like giving people free information. Same thing here. I'm going to uncheck all these boxes. I don't, I don't like giving people location data or diagnostic data. Unless you're going to pay me for my data, um, I'm not going to give it to you for free. So, But again, that's just me. So, Slide down. So I, I unselect all of these. Um, and if nothing else, it, it, it makes the process go faster anyway. And then I hit accept. Alright, so now it'll finish setting up. Okay, so now the install process is done. You're at Windows. Uh, you're all set. Congratulations, you install Windows. At this point, uh, this is where I prefer to uh, set up Wi-Fi because it won't prompt you for a Microsoft account. Your Wi-Fi is usually down here. That's true. Uh, but it may take a few minutes for everything to get in shape, and it may take a few minutes to see it down there. I find it's a lot faster to come down here to your search bar um, and type in Wi-Fi. And again, it's not finding anything. It may take a few minutes to set up. So if it doesn't find anything, backspace it out. Try it again. There it is. Wi-Fi system settings. That's what we want. So hit enter. Everything's just getting started, so don't expect your computer to be flying right now. Uh, show available networks. That's what I'm going to click on. And now I'm going to sign in to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so I'm good. So now I have Wi-Fi. So now what you want to do, this is a fresh copy of Windows. Um, there's a lot of security updates, a lot of driver updates, a lot of things that need to go on right now. So come back down here to your search bar. Type in updates. And this will pop up. Check for updates again under system settings. So that's what we want. Hit enter. Now, down below in the description, there'll be a link on how to update your ASUS computer. Um, that'll take you a little more in-depth into this process if, if, if you want to view that. But very quickly, this is what you'll do. It, it'll say no updates. Never believe that anytime you're running updates. Always click on this box, check for updates. I'll always run that scan manually. And especially in our case with a fresh install of Windows, there will be a ton of updates that populate. Um, so make sure you just sit here, let them populate, scroll down to the bottom. Sometimes they don't auto start. Sometimes you have to uh, click 
click on download or manually make them start and then keep an eye on it. Um, sometimes it'll prompt you to restart your computer to continue updating, in, in which case do it. But yeah, just keep an eye on the updates, make sure they're all being processed. It, it, it could take several hours for them to all go through. You may have to restart your computer several times. Uh, but yeah, especially with a fresh install, there will be a lot of updates. Now, once you get those updates going, uh, another thing, remember we didn't enter the product ID uh, at first. So this is where you're gonna do that. Come down here to your file explorer, open that up. This PC, right click, come down to properties. Now, as you can see on the bottom of this menu, it says Windows is activated. So like I mentioned, sometimes your product key is stored on your motherboard, in which case it will pull it automatically. Um, in that case, it will say Windows is activated, you're good. If it says anything else, Windows is not activated, Windows needs to be activated, uh, that's when you'll click on it, hit change product ID, and that's where you'll enter in uh, your product ID information. So hopefully this was helpful. Any questions, again, check out the FAQs below. Could save you some time. Um, if you need to leave me a question, leave it. I'll get back to you as soon as, soon as I can. And uh, like and share if it was helpful. Subscribe if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks so much for watching, guys.